hey guys and welcome to my channel so in this vlog i want to celebrate david for the true nigerian that he is recently david had an interview where he said something about nigerian being and the economy being in a complete mess and there have been a lot of think pieces over what he said with some people implying that david was selling nigerian shorts to the international community <laughs> guys i have a lot to say on this but first let's just take a look at the interview but my original question was like so for if people want to leave america and like try to find those leave america and go away so i will be interjecting at intervals because of copyright issues back home. let's be honest go back where it's not cool back home it's not just i mean david is actually having a great time because he tweeted this the way my accents be for that interview they sweet me very demure my country now is in the, 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 the economy now is in shambles like but isn't the economy in shambles like this is a true or false answer but if if okay so with if people are leaving i do my part yeah i'm an ambassador so mm -hmm. when I again he didn't lie david does his part every year he donates millions of naira to various orphanages in the country aside the donation he has also lifted a lot of people out of poverty there's this guy father dmw he used to be a delivery guy a bike a bike guy the guy wasn't educated david integrated him into his 30 bg gang and even offered to pay his school fees in Adeleke University but unfortunately the guy wasn't ready to go to school but the guy is now an influencer with over a million followers on Instagram I go home and I'm filming I'm showing I'm not gonna show the bad parts I ain't gonna show the yeah all the I, feel, I feel like Davido was so gracious with his words if I had David's platform ABC people for the cry is ready now. You're not gonna try to slum. You're not gonna show the trenches. No, I, I go to the trenches. Yeah. I'm filming trenches, but I'm talking about the city. I would have dedicated at least five minutes at every international concert to talk about Nigeria. Situation in the country. Yeah. Be Nigerians, you know what I'm saying? Like now the, the exchange rate is messed up. Mm. Nigerians act like they love the truth, they love honesty, yet they expected David to lie or sugarcoat words. The, um, a lot of stuff not going well, you know what I'm saying? The economy is just not good in yeah. the whole. The Tell me what is so bad about these interviews. People see these things. Before someone said, eh, foreign investors will not come again. I was like, excuse me, how many have come so far? The fact that a lot of companies have been leaving the country is enough to show these foreigners that the economy is currently in absolute shambles anyways let me show you just some fun davido moments like when he visited the olu of worry but you know i'm happy that you know i was i was brought up by great parents you know i come from a very very respectful family you know sometimes you know you get a little big headed, you know what I'm saying? As OBO sometimes. You know, but, um, you know, we were going, we was back and forth and back and forth, and, you know. Um, I can never be sure of words. Amadou gave me the impression that he was just going to stroll the quiet. Maybe that it should be. I can see this is the definition of quiet. Concerning any other thing that is going on right now is of no use. Yes, 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 All right, that was very ridiculous. <laughs> 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 
Oil prices are too high. Um, and imagine a country that produces oil. Patrick Doyle and Reno also had one or two things to say about David's interview. We produce the oil and we pay more money for oil. I must also state that David is one superstar who has not abandoned his Nigerian fans. For example, I think there was a time Bonaboy thanked his fans and omitted his Nigerian fans. Like David will never do that. David appreciates his Nigerian fans. He will have concerts in Nigeria. He will attend shows in Nigeria. I don't think Weasel or the, or the other Bubblehead does that. So you get. So one, one thing you guys will not do is try to make it look like David is such a problematic person. I've always said it that if I had the type of privilege David had, una for here we. <laughs> David walked the runway to support Ugo Monye. Like, how many people will do that without even asking for a pay? But then a country that's importing the oil. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. there's stuff like that. But regardless... The last time Bonner had the show in Nigeria, his fans paid as much as 5 million naira for a table. This bobo disappointed them. Cold one finished them that year. Aside that, some of the tables did not even have expensive drinks and he did not even apologize. Like, his apology was tacky. He didn't even care. And after that, he made the decision not to have concerts in Nigeria. Imagine the country that made you. It can never be my David. Entertainment is one of the things that's made Africa look good. Yeah. We do not have the best leaders. That's a fact. I must say that I love everything about the interview David did. I enjoyed his honesty, his sincerity. I love that he didn't sugarcoat words. We all know his proximity to power if he wanted to lie. Like imagine David coming out to say, oh, the country is perfect. People can come back. We have great leaders. Do you know that would be like a slap on the faces of people who are struggling? Because it will look like he doesn't connect with them. It's going to look like he doesn't like understand them but one of my favorite things about david is how he relates with the less privileged like this guy is so privileged he has never suffered but he has a way of like he, he understands the plight of the lowly because he mingles with regular people he is not someone who mingles with people within his social class alone you will see david he has people like israel that are not up there you see him mingling with them he relates with people he he's always on twitter he handles his twitter account he sees tweets so he knows when things are really really bad well i think i've said enough but my own is i love everything about the interview i love david's honesty and like i said if i had the privilege if i had the platform david had i would have been way messier than david like the fact that people are triggered by my interview, I would have been so intentional about saying a lot of things that they will choose to leave me or keep welling, which the later would even be a lot better for me because I mean, the economy is bad. The economy is bad. There's nothing anyone can do about it. Regardless of how we try to sugarcoat things, the economy is in shambles. The economy is bad. Well, I'm, I'll be leaving you with them. Um, fun moments from david's time in worry where he went to visit um uh a, a billionaire and they got gifted cash dollars and some new naira notes so guys that's i think that's where i will be wrapping this up so like i said i stand with david i love everything about what he said and i love that he isn't ready to cower i hope his father doesn't convince him to apologize because i will be so mad if david apologizes for being very honest in an interview i don't need him to apologize he needs to own his truths he was honest we always want to happy say the truth the truth is set you free he has said the truth if the leaders are angry they should do something to fix the economy because truly the economy is bad Uh, 
This is our two, the leader. Israel! 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 So, so they talk now. Like, you know, <laughs> they talk. Yeah, they talk. Yeah, they talk. Okay. Uh, on behalf of the video and Tati Vidi Kuru, Chief Priest, I receive this cola and I bless him from where he comes from. You know, go end. Yeah. More will come like water. I don't say you already did like water. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. The flow and the pressure will increase more. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Chairman. Chairman.